On some days, wind accounts for 20% of the UK's electricity generation. And it looks set to continue to grow. But one of the challenges wind farm developers face is opposition from local residents who are unhappy about the visual impact they have on the landscape. Since the Welsh Government published its Renewable Energy Planning Guidelines in 2005, Mid Wales has been under threat as never before from unsuitable, expensive, pointless development of multiple wind farms and 100 miles of power lines. This is one of a number of demonstrations against plans for five new wind farms around Powys and Mid Wales. Public oppositions resulted in the biggest ever public inquiry into wind farms, lasting more than a year and costing the council and the energy companies millions of pounds. Faced with this kind of opposition, one way of reducing potential objections is to build wind farms offshore. And that also makes them more efficient. The, the beauty of offshore, I guess, is that uh, you don't have the sort of topography that we've got here where we've got a lot of turbulent wind conditions. We, we build the wind turbines on very high towers, as you can see, in order to try and negate some of those effects. Uh, but in actual fact, obviously, the higher you go, the less turbulent the wind is. Uh, and what we're looking for is a constant flow of non-turbulent wind offshore. That's obviously easier to find because you've got a flat surface below you. Offshore wind farms might avoid objections from residents and be more efficient than their onshore equivalents. But they cost around twice as much to build. But for many people, the benefits in terms of reduced emissions outweigh the cost implications. I think it's very important. For, for me, I mean, I'm not saying this because I work in the industry, but I, I just don't think we can continue to keep burning fossil fuels. And, um, you know, people talk about expense. As I've said, there's, there's quite a bit of upfront investment that has to be put into a, a farm like this. But then again, there is that in a, in a, in a conventional power station as well. Um, I think if you consider the fact we can't, as I say, keep polluting the atmosphere, creating the sort of natural disasters that we've had so far, uh, cost almost becomes secondary. We just have to find another way of producing energy. And this wind is probably the most proven technology that we've got at the moment suitable for the UK. For some parts of the world, wind energy offers huge potential and is likely to play an increasingly important part in the energy mix. In June 2014, the UK government approved plans for a massive 240 wind turbine project off the coast of Suffolk. When the project's completed, it's likely to be the biggest offshore wind farm in the world. <laughs>